Happy Friday to all my folks on Take Me Back to Barcelona. This weekend, Hunger Games comes out, and myself personally, I'm going to hold off on catching it. I'm just going to see how it does in this opening weekend. So far, it's bringing in some dollars. It might be the good kick for Suzanne Collins, and she will probably most likely join the very same literary mile high club as J.K. Rowling and Stephanie Meyer. And again, I'm not putting down the Hunger Games. I'm just praying that the future it portrays will not be one that we would have to live in. But again, don't lose heart. John Carter is still bringing in overseas dollars in a major way. And I still encourage everybody on this panel to bring whatever friends, loved ones, and neighbors to the theaters before John Carter ends at least before the middle of April. Don't give up hope, folks. Convention season's coming up, and I don't know what kind you're gonna hit this year, but lobby, strongly lobby for this film to become a franchise. It is a shame that such an established character as John Carter has to suffer this type of indignity at the box office. And Having heard reports that Michael Bay is considering rebooting Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, it is a testament to see that even fandom can be dumbed down. Again, John Carter was a quality flick. I dug it, and I'll battle anybody that this is in. I'm going to stand for the people on this page. Never stop fighting until we make people believers that John Carter is deserving of a franchise. And as for Disney, if they cannot stand by a film that they distributed, then I have only one alternative. I don't know if anybody on this page will go for it or not, or if you will recommend it to others who are disappointed in how Disney has treated the, a film they distributed. Boycott Disney, meaning do not purchase any products. Do not go to any of the theme parks or any stationery or clothing or apparel licensed through Disney. Unless, of course, it's John Carter. And as for Marvel fans who are watching this, I grew up on Marvel too. But they even got to realize that Disney is messing with their bottom line, being that they're doing new adaptations of Edgar Bryce Burroughs' classic character, not to mention doing an omnibus collection of the classic 1970s adaptations. Even somebody at Marvel's got to see that Disney is hurting their bottom line too. And I hope someone will speak up. Again, don't lose heart. The Hunger Games is out. Don't lose heart if you want to catch it. That's, that's up to you. Myself, I'm going to catch it later on. But still, never stop fighting until we have more bars soon. And if Disney can't hold up their end, I hope somebody from DreamWorks is watching this. Give the fans what they want. This is about pursuing a quality film and beautiful adaptations. And again, Andrew Stanton did an awesome job, as well as Taylor Kitchen and the rest of the cast and crew. Do not be ashamed of this flick and don't be discouraged. Fans will have their say. Fans did it over 40 plus years ago regarding the Star Trek saga and 20 years after with the Star Wars saga. Believe me, John Carter's time has come. But I also would push for better adaptations of works by Edgar Rice Burroughs and many other authors whose works we've grown up on. Even those who grew up on the works of Robert E. Howard, we want better adaptations, not just crap that you put on just for the hope of getting people to come to the theater. Fans want quality, not quantity. That is the reason why this page has been open. That is the reason why I believe by the end of this month we'll have over 6,000 members and counting. 
And hopefully during the summer, even a million. Don't give up, folks. We will have more of ourselves. We still live and will not die.